Hi everyone, I'm Carla with Heat Press Nation and I'll be showing how sublimation pint glasses can be made into a custom vivid item with a convection oven setup. So stick around as we'll customize this. Now, if you enjoy this video or find it to be helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. But to catch the latest tutorials and live episodes from Heat Press Nation, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. Before we begin, we recommend using a dedicated oven specifically for sublimation and not the same one you use for cooking. With that in mind, let's get started. To bring a little more flair to yours or others' favorite beverage, customizing a sublimation pint glass can serve as a simple yet elegant way of doing so. These 17 ounce glasses in particular have a white patch ready for sublimation transfers, which allows you to permanently bring your own image or graphic to completely turn these into unique items. Whether you offer them as a special gift to family and friends, themed items for a restaurant or big dinner, or as a gift shop item for tourists, these sublimation pint glasses are ready to have their blank patch decorated to your liking. Now, due to the specially tapered nature of these pint glasses, it won't be possible to press these with your mug press. So this is where using a dedicated convection oven comes into play. So as long as you also use the right oven wrap. This six inch hex oven wrap for 17 ounce latte mugs in particular can easily wrap around the pint glasses with no slack. So despite it being mainly for latte mugs, this oven wrap is actually versatile enough to handle similarly tapered items like this pint glass. And the process to customizing a sublimation pint glass is much like we've shown before with eco tumblers. Print an image for the item, set up and preheat your oven to the right settings, wrap and attach the transfer around the item itself. Cover it all with the oven wrap, then bring the wrapped item to cook in your oven until the set amount of time. But first prepare your image within the imprint area of the pine glass. This means you'll also need to scale and warp it to be the shape of the item itself. Though if you have Adobe Photoshop, you can download and use the PDF template for these pine glasses available at heatpressnation.com. This includes a smart object layer that's been specially warped to the tapered nature of these glasses. By importing your image or graphic design onto this layer, it will also be warped and ready to fit within the white patch of the glass. And since it's a smart object layer, you'll be able to make as many changes in it as you'd like without having to flatten it before each change. Once your image is ready, you may print it through your sublimation printer. For Sawgrass printers, send it to Sawgrass Print Manager and use these settings. Substrate set to glass, paper set to your paper's profile, leave mirror checked, and in the color tab, set the color mode to photographic or vivid depending on your image's level of detail. With these settings in, go ahead and click print on SPM. With the transfer printed, this would be a good time to set your oven to 10 to 12 minutes, then allow it to preheat to 374 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you may trim around the printed image's edges, then tightly wrap it around a pint glass, making sure that the image is completely filling the glass's white patch. With the transfer in position, attach it in place with a decent chunk of heat tape to maintain tension. Then cover the glass with an oven wrap. With the six inch tapered wrap from Hicks, simply place it at the center of the wrap's rubber and close it to its tightest setting. To ensure that the transfer is in full contact with the wrap, position the glass so that the wrap's clip side is above the small gap on the glass. With this glass wrapped and your oven preheated, simply bring it inside the oven and allow it to cook for the set amount of time. As we always know for sublimation convection oven projects, your settings will always vary depending on the machine you're using. Time specifically will depend on the location of your oven's heating element or how close the item is to it. So before moving on with your pint glass, we recommend completing a test run first to determine if your time and temperature need to be properly adjusted to fully cook it. Once your oven reaches time, take your pint glass out elsewhere to completely cool down. Be sure not to hold it for too long as it and the oven wrap will be extremely hot. Though once they've cooled down, detach the oven wrap and peel off the transfer. You now have a custom colorful pint glass ready to be served with your favorite drink. Mm -hmm. 
If you'd like to share your custom pine glasses or other drinkware with us, alongside a growing community of customization enthusiasts, feel free to join our Heat Press Nation Creators Facebook group at heat.press fbgroup. But to learn more about sublimation drinkware and other tools and supplies, be sure to visit us at heatpressnation.com. For any questions, you can get in contact with a My Expert representative at heat.press support. I'm Carla with Heat Press Nation and have a wonderful day.